Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm going to continue where I left off. It, it's still December 31st for me. And um, what we were just doing is discovering that the, the new text field that I'm creating doesn't format properly. And I could probably figure that out and fix it, but I think that the basic approach I'm using here is wrong, which is that I'm trying to embed the text field into a panel and thus not have all the other cruft that comes along with extending a J-formatted text field, but I don't think that's actually going to work. So I'm going to change this like that. Um, still not sure if that needs to be around. And then, oh, and then this. That's going to fail. And that's probably going to break all kinds of things, too. No, not so far. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that passes. I'm guessing I can put this back then, because now I'm actually using the same type of field I had before. And I can probably put this back as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, so maybe this is the right way to go. We'll see. Oh, and as usual, let's try to remember to commit. Okay, there's our, our field. It doesn't have any values in it. Um, but that's okay. There's my makeshift air handler. You can see the asterisk going by in the console window. That's all going to get replaced. Okay. Now, what next? I think what I want... We have this get and set dollars thing. Um, I think what I want to do is assert that that is tied into the, um, the text of the field. I'm going to get rid of this thing. I, it just doesn't feel right to me. Which does mean that if I ever change what I inherit from that my tests won't fail, but honestly, you know, what's the chance that happened? That would cause compile errors all over the place. And I don't like testing the internals. I don't want to test the externally visible behavior. So I don't know, maybe there's something else I can about the text field that I can test. Actually, I think I'm about to test something like that. Um, So I want to say that setting text or setting the dollars uh, causes text to change. Actually, no, that's not quite right. I think it's not so much setting the dollars, but that um, text reflects dollar amount upon construction. That should fail. Yeah, we got nothing. And actually, I think uh, the dollars render themselves with the dollar sign.
Okay. Now let's double check our assumptions, make sure that works the way we think it ought to. Oh, look at that. It does. Our tabs don't appear to be working, though. Make a note of that for later. Um, so we've got that working. Next, I think we want to do the opposite, which is that changing uh, text changes dollar amount. Let's go ahead and pull this. Okay, so shouldn't need that anymore. Okay, there we go. We expected 1024 was 42 because uh, setting the text doesn't reflect the, in the dollars. That's easily fixed, sort of. What we can do is say that the text, we can do the same thing we're doing in application frame for now, which is that we parse the integer, but that's not what we want to do long term. Because that will fail. When we have the wrong kind of text. Yeah, in fact, it doesn't even like the dollar sign in there. Um, so now is where we need to take advantage of the formatted text fields capabilities. But I think, I think for now, well, let's see. Let's see what we have in here again. Let me pull up my browser.
So get value is what I want, but the problem is, is that I don't know that that's going to be an object. I think what I need to do is look at number formatter. I'm going to pause the video, look into this, and be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I think I've got this figured out, maybe. Um, what we need to do is deal with number format, and we want an instance of that, and then I did that right. Yeah, and then we want to ask the format to parse. our text maybe we're not going to handle the exception just yet Let's me know that I need a couple of things. First, I need an impossible exception, maybe. Oh, it's require. Yeah, so I need my fail fast code to. Uh, Need an impossible exception method on there for, or, or something like not implemented. And that's going to return a number. which we should be able to convert into a double. Or an integer. Let's go with double for now. All right, now we're Man, I don't know if it's just me today or what, but I feel like there's a lot of hacking going on here. So it couldn't parse 42. Uh, maybe it's because it should be a currency. Let's try that. Well, getting closer. That's it for this time, so I will catch you next time.